If you are thinking about running ads in TikTok to collect leads, it is absolutely critical to add the TikTok pixel to your website and set up the lead firing event. In today's video, we are gonna be covering exactly that. So if you're looking to run ads inside of TikTok for lead generation, you're definitely gonna to wanna to pay attention to this video. Now, the first question I do want to answer is why you should set up the TikTok pixel and why you should set up these lead events if you're running in a campaign for lead generation. And the to answer that question basically comes down to four simple things. First, without this, you really won't understand what your cost per lead inside of TikTok is without the pixel. Next, it also helps ads target more of the right users. That data gets fed back into TikTok and you can create things like lookalike audiences based on people that are actually filling out the form. And you can start to understand who your target demographic is more and also inform TikTok's algorithm on that as well so that you can target and get more efficient leads coming through. The third reason is it allows you to optimize your campaigns much better. Going along with the, with the fourth point as well is that you can know which campaigns, ad groups, and even ads are actually generating a lead for you and what that cost per lead is. So that's why you should consider installing the TikTok pixel and setting up these lead events. Now, as far as how to do this, it's actually very easy. I think a lot of people overcomplicate this. When it comes to setting this up, it's basically two steps. The first step is to add the pixel code to your website. And I'm gonna be walking you through how to do that. And then the second step is to set up the lead event. Now, when it comes to setting up the lead event, there are two different options. There's option one right here, which is to track a URL as your event. And then option two is to track a button. We'll be going over both of those options as well. So let's actually jump right in uh, to TikTok into the platform. So in order to get this started, you will need to go through and create a TikTok ads account. If you don't already have one, I encourage you to check out the link down below and get signed up for your free TikTok ads account to get started. Um, and then once you're inside of here, you can kind of follow along. So the first thing we are going to do is come over here to tools and then you're gonna come to events. And what we're doing first is creating the actual pixel inside of TikTok so that then, then we can install it onto our website. Now for majority of people, you're gonna want web events because we're doing this for a website, not for an app. We're gonna hit manage here. And your screen may look slightly different on this part because you don't already have uh, pixel set up. You can see I have lots of test ones inside of here. You'll see something here that says create pixel or something along those lines. For me, I'm going to hit uh, set up web event. And then we want to do the TikTok pixel. You're going to name this, I'm going to call this lead pixel and then this is going to go on wordpress and then we are going to then hit next and then it gives you two different options so you can either install the code manually or you can automatically set it up with your web partners now most of these web partners you'll notice if we come over here a lot of these are e-commerce based you do have google tag manager and then this one right here but if you are setting up the lead pixel chances are you are going to have to do this manually and don't worry it's very easy i'm going to show you exactly how to do this so we're going to come over here to the manual setup we're going to hit next and then it's going to ask us to set up, uh, ask us how we want to set up our events, either through the event builder or through custom mode. Now you can see with custom mode, you can build and customize events that fit your business needs, but you do need a developer support is required. So if you have more advanced, complicated systems, you may need to go this route, but just know that you'll probably want to have a developer involved. But for majority of people, and most of the time when I'm running campaigns for other people or setting up their pixel, the event builder works for 90, 90 plus percent of uh, people that are gonna be running leads. So we're gonna click on the event builder here, and then we're gonna hit next. This is then going to ask us to copy the pixel code. So we're going to copy this, and coming back over here, we're going to get step one. So we now have the code that we're going to add to our site. So now it's as simple as going through and adding to our site. And we want this to fire on every page of our site. Now I do know that uh, there's lots of different website builders out there. Um, no matter what your website builder is, this step is very similar, but I'm going to show you how to do this in WordPress real quick. So we're going to come over to our WordPress website. So there's lots of different ways you can add this code to a WordPress website. But how, what I like to do is come over here to the plugins and we are going to search for the headers and footers plugin. If you don't already have it, um, just come over here and do a search for header and uh, look for that. And you can see here, I already have this headers and footers code active and managed. So if you want to, you'll see a little install button, go through and install that. Once you've installed that in your left-hand side over here, you'll see this little thing that says HFCM, which stands for headers, footers, code manager. If you click on that, um, you go to all snippets here, or sorry, hit add new. And this is going to take you to something that looks like this. You go through and give this a snippet name. So we're gonna call this TikTok pixel. And then for snippet type, leave it on HTML, site display. This is where you want this to show up site-wide. So it's gonna put it everywhere on your site. And then you don't need to exclude pages or posts unless you wanted to. The location, this is important. We wanna make sure that this is on the header. And then we just come back over to um, TikTok over here and we copy this code and simply paste it into this snippet right here. 
and then save. So now the pixel is installed on our website. We can come back over this first step um, is now completed. Step one, add the code to your website. Now it's time for step two to set up the event. So if we come back over to TikTok, you're gonna see it's, uh, we want to allow this. And then I'm going to opt in to enable automatic advanced matching, turn that on, leave email and phone number there, and then hit next. And then now you can see there are two different ways to track events. So from this drop down, we can go through and track lots of different events. But the one that, that we're probably going to be looking for for this specific video is either going to be complete registration. So if somebody's going through and, and uh, completing registration, or submitting some sort of form, AKA a lead. So we're gonna click on submit form here. And then you can see there are two different methods. So you have the URL method or the click method, like we talked about two of these options here. So the question is, when do you use option one and when do you use option two? Now I have two different forms here and I'm gonna show you when you would use one option one and an option two. So form one here, we're gonna go through and submit this. And you're gonna notice when I go through and submit this form, the, the URL is contact right now, Zoco marketing slash contact. And now the form has been submitted, but the URL has not changed. I'm just getting this little message here saying, thank you, your message has been sent. Um, so you notice that it didn't take me to a new thank you page or to a, a, UR, a new URL. This form, on the other hand, when I go through and f fill this out, you can see this is test form. When I hit submit here, you're gonna see that the URL goes through and actually changes. So you can see here we have thank you, Zoco marketing slash thank you. So if you submit a form on your website and it takes you to a new URL, then you are going to want to go with option one and track the URL. Uh, if you go through and submit your form and it stays on the same URL, but you get some sort of thank you message, then you are going to want to go with option two and track a button click because they aren't sent to a new, new URL that indicates when the lead has been set up. So if we come back over here to um, TikTok, we're gonna start with the uh, enter URL and TikTok has made this extremely, extremely easy. So it's asking us the destination. So if the URL contains this value, then fire the um, submit form. Form. So all we need to do is come over here to our thank you page and we're going to grab this thank dash you um, because that's what the URL contains. This may be, you know, thank dash you or confirmation for, for, what, for your website or thank you. There's all sorts of different things, whatever that thank you page URL contains. And then we're going to put that in there. And then you can go through and give the a value and currency setting if you want to, but because it is a lead, a lot of times you won't go through and fill this out. Um, and you can also use the content settings here, but most people, most of the time I don't bother with these. This is a little bit more of an advanced option. You can keep it really simple here for this form submit. Okay, and from this point, if you are only tracking a URL, you can go through and hit save and then you are completed and I'll show you how to confirm that it is working properly here in a minute. But because I want to show you how you can also track button clicks, I wanna click and uh, add a new event real quick. You probably don't wanna track a URL and a uh, button, so keep that in mind, but we're gonna go through and click this and we're gonna call this a form submit as well. This time we're gonna be tracking the button click, so we're gonna click add web elements. And what we want to do here is grab the form, grab the form that doesn't take someone to a thank you page. So this is our page, our contact page that doesn't have a thank you URL. And then we're gonna come back over here to um, this spot, Cl click add URL here. And you can see this is going to give us a preview of our website here. And you'll see there's this little toggle with two different buttons. This one, this first one is to navigate in by clicking this element, it will take you to another page. So if you needed to go to another, another page, you wanna stay in this mode. But if the button you're wanting to track is on this URL, you want to click element selection here. What this is gonna allow you to do is to select any element on this page and track it as an event. So we're gonna click here and then it says add this as an element and we say yes. And then now you can see when somebody goes through and clicks on this submit button, it is going to fire the form submit trigger. Now I will say, if you are wondering which of these options is better, generally I recommend that people go with option one with the URL because this is the most reliable way. With this button tracking one, oftentimes what can happen is you can get a false lead where somebody goes through and fills out the form and maybe there's a typo or misinformation and the form actually doesn't submit but people click the button and it fires through. But if you don't have a thank you page, this is kind of the next best option in how to set that up. But generally I recommend tracking the URL. That, with that said, let's go back over here we are now tracking this form submit button, so let's hit save. And this is going to take us to a view where you can see the events that are firing. We have the page view and the form submit. So now we wanna make sure that the form submit is actually working in the places where we expect it to. So in order to do that, what you need to do is just come over to Google and type in TikTok um, pixel helper right here. And then you can go through and add this to Chrome. You can see I already have it added here. You're gonna see something that looks uh, something like this one right here, this little guy, the TikTok pixel helper. And once you have that installed, what you wanna do is come over to your website where you just installed the tracking. And we are looking for this right here, this little form, uh, our form submit. And 
you can see when you click this down, it is saying that the TikTok, the lead pixel is on here. And it's giving me this warning because I have um, uh, multiple pixels on this website because of the videos that I've created. You can see here is our lead pixel for WordPress, the one that we just created and the page view is firing. So now we wanna go through and make sure that this shows a lead event after we fill out the form. So we're gonna type in um, our name here. We're gonna type in the test and then we're gonna hit submit. And if this works right, when we click on this pixel again, it should say something like lead submitted. So we're gonna hit submit here. And it is now taking us to the thank you page. So now we can look at our TikTok pixel helper and you can see there's some more events that have fired through here. Okay, and you can see that that event actually did not fire, but sometimes it does take this event a little bit of time to go through and show up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wait an hour or so and then I'm gonna come back and test this again because this is definitely set up right. So we just need to give a little bit more time for the pixel helper to get that data in there. So we'll come back in an hour and uh, try this again to make sure it is working properly. So if this happens to you, don't panic, wait a little bit and then try it again. Okay, so it's now been an hour, so I'm gonna go through and try and submit this again. You can see the pixel is still firing on our website. Um, we have this lead pixel, and then we're gonna hit submit here. And then now when we open this up, you can see this form submit has fired. The page view is successfully going. So you can see this is now working like it is. So like I said, if this doesn't work for you right away, just wait an hour, come back and then uh, try it again. You can see that is now submitted su successfully for the thank you page. And then you can use this same method to go through and verify that your button tracking is working as well. So hopefully you found this video helpful in creating your TikTok pixel and your events for lead generation ads. If you want more TikTok ads content and want to learn more about TikTok ads, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. We talk a lot about TikTok ads here and we'll see you in the next video.